welcome back everyone. Good Tuna evening. Purse Fishing. How you doing? Alright. It's Sunday, it's Sunday, the 18th, yeah. I think. It's 10 to 9 of, of an evening. Dickie, what are you saying? All good. All good. Crammed in the back there. Dickie's come with us. In the back. We're free up tonight on in the way to Chesil and uh, aiming for some cod. Yes. We cod. hope. We hope. There's been reports of a few out, so we can only go and try. We've come prepared for a, a basically an, an all-night session. Um, I was flicking through Facebook earlier on, and I reckon it's going to be many busies down there tonight. Um, so, made sure Dickie's got his inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> so he's all right. Um, so, yeah, we'll get down there. I say we're just coming in, um, just out of the back of Dorchester a minute on a bypass, so we're just next to the roundabout to hang up to Weymouth and go yep. Ferry Bridge. So... We shall see. Might be a long old walk. It's definitely going to be a long old but walk. But we'll bring you back when we're on the shingle. On the shingle. With Maybe. a fish. Maybe. In hand. Hopefully. Like that. <laughs> Alright. In a bit. See you in a bit. Oi. Well, Ryan's just had a nice little knock on the rod. Oh, He's on, definitely please. in. Please. Please be a cod. Please be a fish. That's a fiver. If that's a cod, oh, boss. Come on. I don't care about the fiver. I just want it to be a cod. How nice would that be? It's heavy, but I don't think it's... What's on what heavy? What bait? That's on black and squid. Oh, up something. That's a conga here, isn't it? Is it a conga? Can't even see. Conga. Little strappy conga. Well, we saved the blank, mate. Yeah. It's not what it's we wanted. Funny. It's funny, but not what I wanted. There you go. Nice little little strap eel. Absolutely yeah. horse that down. Get it up and line. There you go, look, hey. Yeah. Oh, oh God. What's going on there, Mush? I don't know. Is that on the other rod? Yeah. He's crossed over. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He's gone, he needs to come over. The actual eel needs to come over yeah. this way. Which way? Over that way? Oh, no, no, underneath. Underneath? And then over the top. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, Mr. Conger. All right, let's get him off. And again, I think, yeah, he's gone right over, isn't he? Oh, God. And that's us to wait this time. Might have been me, to be honest. When I cast that one out, I'll give it a bit of a thump. There we go. Well, that's one on a bank tonight. Um, again, it's not 100% what we wanted, but he's going to get the scorcher out and get him flicked off and get him back. But again, that's one fish. Dickie just had a dirty knock, but he's just yanked his head clean off. With the biggest strike I've ever seen. Anyone will think he was fishing for tuna. <laughs> Yeah, they're crossed still, mate. I think that's when I can't. Yeah, go that. over. Alright, oh, you'll get him off. There he is, look. Your favourite? Oh, I hate Congo. Is that a single hook or a panel? No, it's a panel and he's not. He's taking it right there. Yeah, they just devour everything. Don't they? I love conger eels for this reason. It's the straps are the worst. I mean, the big ones are not too bad. They, at least they, you know, generally get lip but he just come along and just inhaled that. Right, let's get him back then. Yeah. Morning. It is now half midnight, and Ryan is going. For some it's big, not the best big presenting bait. bait, but we're some going two blacks with squid. Two black and squid, and that's a dropper, is it? Yeah. What size? Yeah, Taffs, uh, pulley droppers. Taffs, yeah. Five O's on them big, Five big bad O's. boys. Oh uh, yeah, that's nice. That's got cod written all over it. Yeah, that's got, oh. well, you hope. Yeah, no, it will have. We just had that conga. cod or conga. Oh, we had a conga. Run of the sea. Yeah. And I just reeled in and I got a dead fucking <laughs> minnow of a pout. <laughs> He's going to be fake in a minute. Yeah, we're talking about how he's for something, but he'll be fake. definitely, um, better days but yes not very uh productive is it tonight uh, not at the moment but we've got enough stuff enough bait load of blacks co uh, cuttlefish we've got squid we've got some big launch i'll just chuck that out on a dropper um sorry about the shadows um so there's a cuttlefish there a load of black still so yeah a load of mackerel from the other day but yeah i've just chucked out a pulley dropper with two of those launch on on the double um i can't see it was like uh, we have a double loader there, look. Um, so um, basically, heads off, tails off, straight up on the loader, um, last them together, hook through the top, couple of winds round, slide a hook back off the top of that, and then carry on again, and then it's exactly the same as a panel. So yeah, your bottom, um, bottom hook straight in the bottom, couple of twists round, send it. So yeah, hopefully, I know we say it, 
we'll catch some more fish but i think first light so we're set up ready for tonight everyone's got a bit of food and got a kettle and stuff i've dug myself a little trench got my little hood in there made myself a little pillow out of the old shingle <laughs> So yeah, we've got enough supplies, we've got bacon and eggs for breakfast if we do stay. So yeah, hopefully we'll be back. Oh, right, so it's half five in the morning. We slept overnight on Chesil. Well, well, slept. For an hour. Of course, sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we've got the bacon on. We're just going to start setting up the rods again. Because um, we had them out for a couple of hours while we were sleeping sort of ish um so i've just put mine and back out i've got one out with a bagnall bar with a panel rig on some black and then i've got just a pulley panel out um on just black black lug as well uh nice cooking so he's not gone out yet and then uh dickie's out just on his one rod i think he's just on mackerel so yeah, we'll keep you posted. We're hoping when the uh, when we get a bit of <laughs> when we get a bit of sun uh, bursting through um, on on the old dawn, we're hoping for a bit of bream, maybe even a little codling. I mean, I thought we might have one tonight, but hasn't been the case. But we will keep going, keep fishing hard, and. Uh, Hopefully, I said the word again, I'll come back with a nice juicy cod in a bit. Oh, ho, so the beach has literally just come alive. Uh, the sun is just coming over. I've had a bite, one bream in a bucket, just there. Nate's just had a big pull down. What are you saying? Big? Yeah. Just watching my lines as well because there's been loads of seagulls just coming out. Look, look at my bite already, look, on my rod as well. See that? Got a fucking bite on here. It's just gone crazy. Just going to tighten my lines up while Nace is pulling his in. I'm hoping that that produces on that rod. Might be free. Is that a cod? The bass. No, it's a bream, isn't it? It's a bream. Not a bream. That's a sizable bream. Is it? Oh, it is a bream. Tell it is. Who have you caught? Have you caught? Yeah. Well, I'm going to get some feathers in as well, I think, in a minute, because there's lots of birds working. So we're hoping there's some mackerel about as well. But yeah, here we go, look. That's a nice, chunky bream. Yeah. In the morning. You can't go wrong with that, can you? No. Oh, and you've uh, caught. Oh, he's awake and look. <laughs> oh, dear. Dickie's just had about a 20 minute power nap. He's pretty much conked out. So, uh, well, anyway, um, we'll get back to you because it's turning up. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, getting better. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, Dickie, I love you. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's three bream in the bucket. I'm just going to check them for size. Nace just had a, a blooming mackerel on some bait, which was a bit of a surprise. My rods are tapping away, and Nathan's are saying we think may be sizable. So we're just going to see what this is. Whew. It's yeah, it's literally just come on the feed. It's just crazy. I've never been on Chesil first light like this, and it's just yeah, it's just been crazy. What are you in? So a flatty? No, oh, I don't know what that is. Bream, another bream. Oh. Okay, well we're gonna get us four bream now in about what 15 minutes, if that. So that's that's definitely a keeper that one. Bar, yeah. So that's. Let's have a look. So that's. Yeah. Bagnell bar. Just a normal, like, clip, link clip. And then, in over. 
18 yeah. mil pop ups. Yeah. And um, yeah, there you go. Straight in. More nose, I think. Yeah, running out of room in a bucket now. I'm gonna have to sort these ones out. I think some of them, that's definitely sizable. I think we're going to uh, check that one now on the tackle box. What do you got, B23? I think it is. He looks like he's sizable. Yeah, he's sizable, isn't he? Relax yourself, Mr. Beam. He's 28, nearly 30. Yeah, he's definitely sizable. He is coming home to the table, that one. Here we go, look. We'll check the others while we're here. Sizable, probably sticky back, but he probably will go back. Let's have a look at the others. Let's get yeah, let's get the old thumbnail, won't we? That one is sizable as well. Uh, about the same. Let's have a look at this one. He's a bit fatter, isn't he? That one. All right, let's have a look at him. He is 30. Nice. But well, there you go. Right, so we'll That's... Take the two big ones and put the little ones back. Yeah, we'll get a thumbnail first though. But that is a lovely chisel black bream. <laughs> right.